Okay, so we want to talk about re-emerging plants. And uh, as I said, before we get started, there have been so many incredible things. It feels like the church has gone actually to a whole different level in the last few weeks. And you may be saying, you're just dreaming, David. But no, I'm not. Let me show you. This is just a little snapshot of some of the things that have happened at 614 over the last, since March 15th, it's 11 or maybe 12 weeks. So this is what's happened over the last few weeks. We just started listing a couple of things on Monday um, and got, came up with 10 things. And I want to go through each one of these just for a moment. The church has been the church in this season in such an incredible way. Number one, kids ministry. I'm actually going to go through the list like this. Let me hear a whoop whoop for kids ministry. Kathy, thank you so much. Yes, yes, okay. very good. Kids ministry. So look at this. Uh, Alyssa Morrison has killed it mm -hmm. with kids ministry. And if you are online, please give her lots of praise and lots of handshakes and your favorite emoji. Thank you to that entire team for everything that they have done. The church is on the move. From a church that we started dabbling a little bit in recording and we've been doing kind of studio at home, studio at the office, studio at Aspen or what we'll call it. And just done a phenomenal, phenomenal work. Youth group. Look at that picture in the middle. Lady with a big wide open mouth uh, and the laptop. Oh my goodness. <laughs> That's Becca Tozer. Killing it on the youth group stuff. Aaron at the top, Danny lying down with a, with a base shirt and CC. And the four of them, along with Connor and Abby, uh, our kids have, have gotten together and every week have planned a meeting. The next week they had a, a, a Zoom meeting. Then they planned one the week after. And just this last Sunday, they, uh, they got together and got 16 names of people who have visited our church or shown an interest in a youth group and drove to all of their houses and dropped off a gift bag with an invitation to see them at the next youth meeting. Now for the uninformed, let me just tell you, you watch a worship video on YouTube and you think, wow, that looks good. That looks easy. I'm, I'm sure, you know, you look, there's a cable, there's a mic, just plug it in and go. Countless hours that everyone has spent in this season putting together some semblance of a worship service and a, and a sermon so that we could still stay on the same page as a church. Prophetic training, it's called basic training for the prophetic ministry. It's a course put on by Bethel uh, in Redding, California. And in lockdown, in this season, this thing started. And uh, at their first meeting, I think they had 12 or 14 people and, and people learning or receiving prophetic words through Zoom for the first time in their lives. People learning to hear from the Lord and give words from the Lord in this season in lockdown. I love it. Mm -hmm. It's amazing. The church has never shut down. It, it never did shut down. We just kind of didn't do Sunday meeting. Wow. When I think of the giving that we've been able to do as a church in the last 11, 12 weeks, $15,000 we have given in oh, the last three weeks, wow. uh, last three months. We gave a lot to Centennial. We've given a lot to the Dublin Food Pantry when we did gifts. You can see in that picture there in the middle, Stacy's here with his mask on. Interestingly enough, the giving at 614 over the last five months has not decreased. It has actually increased fairly significantly. Okay, life groups. We've had at least seven life groups actively meeting. Here's some screenshots of some of those. We were meant and made for community because we made in the image of God. So even just the ability to meet online or meet in a parking lot has been so healthy for people. We thank the Lord for the miracle of saving this boy's life, of saving little Joel. And here the family was reunited, the top right, uh, thank you, church, for praying for them. Thank you for reaching out. Thank you for helping. Thank you for supporting them in so many different ways. Yeah. So uh, let's continue to pray for Joel as he continues to recover. But we just thank the Lord for his protection over that family. But we've had at least 10 Wednesday night live sessions in the last 12 weeks. Oh, wow. The only shame is we only got to record the last two when we figured out how to do the Zoom 
and being able to record it and put it on, on YouTube. The young adults, but they did scavenger hunts. They, they met together. They are worshiping together in, in uh, socially distant groups, which is fantastic. Well, here we go. Let's, let's keep moving forward. You know, over the last uh, few, few weeks, again, 11, 12 weeks, on average, we've been having about 275 viewers over the last four weeks, uh, which, you know, across our different media platforms, which is amazing. The growth in social subscribers on our different platforms, 190 people more in, in the last three months, which is amazing how many more people have been reached. Um, and um, we're just trusting that people have been blessed through it, people have been saved through it, and lives have been blessed and enriched through the message that the Lord has given.